Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That, and today I'm going to talk about the Scuba Diver set from the Fisher-Price Adventure People line. The first four Fisher-Price Adventure People sets went on sale back in 1975. The sets were number 303, a rescue truck with two figures, number 304, the huge safari set with a truck and trailer, a pop-up tent, a couple of cages, five animals, four figures, and a bunch of miscellaneous accessories. Number 305, a rescue copter with two figures, and number 306, a sport plane with a pilot. The sets were so successful that three new sets were added in 1976. Although all these sets included figures, the focus seemed more about the vehicles. All of the sets sold well and were in production for several years. However, because the main piece for each set in the 1975 series had been the vehicle, the cost of these sets prevented parents who were looking for an inexpensive toy from buying them as impulse purchases. Fisher-Price needed a low-cost alternative. So to expand on the Adventure People line, in 1976, Fisher-Price also started selling smaller sets that included a couple of the three and three quarter inch figures and some small accessories, but didn't include an expensive vehicle as the core of the set. This allowed for them to get more products onto the shelves at a lower price point and introduce kids to the Adventure People line. The first four carded sets from 1976 were number 350, the rescue team, number 351, mountain climbers, 352, construction workers, and number 353, this scuba diver set. All four sets were sold in stores for several years, but the set that lasted the longest was the scuba diver set, which was produced all the way up until 1981. The scuba diver set included two action figures, a blonde woman and a brunette man, each wearing green sleeveless dive suits. The set also included two orange scuba tanks that could be placed over the figures' heads and a yellow and orange raft that, unlike many rafts for action figures that I owned, really floats. Like all of the carded sets, the scuba diver set was very basic. I believe the set sold for about $3 to $4 when they first came out. As a kid, I never realized that the Adventure People had been given names. I don't remember ever seeing the packages that my Adventure People would have originally come in. It's most likely that I received them on Christmas morning and that they had already been removed from the package and set up by my father in some kind of action scene. According to the back of the original package, the figures that came with the scuba diver set were named Matt and Becky. I never knew this as a kid. It's something that I only found out recently when I saw the backs of some of the packages. Even if I had seen the packages as a kid, I was probably too young to have seen the original carded sets, and the later box sets didn't have the names for the divers on the box. Even though I don't think it was ever stated anywhere, I always assumed that the two divers were husband and wife, which is kind of strange because I never made that assumption with the fireman and the nurse or any of the other pairs of male and female figures that came with Adventure People sets. Oh, and by the way, the Jeep in these photos was included with the Northwoods Trailblazer set, not the Scuba Diver set, but I thought it was a good way for Matt and Becky to get their raft down to the river. Anyone who collects Adventure People has surely seen Matt and Becky many times over the years. Since this set was produced from 1976 all the way up to 1981, there were a lot of Matt and Becky figures manufactured, and Adventure People held up to years of play really well. So there's still a lot of these figures who have survived over the decades. However, their paint didn't always fare as well. Matt wore a dive watch on his right arm. The face of the watch was originally painted white, but the paint has worn off of many of the figures that I've seen today. Also, Matt and Becky both had a dolphin logo on their backs, but over the years, I've seen a lot of these figures with the logos worn down and in some cases, worn off completely. Were some of these figures produced without the logo? I really don't know. Any of the package sets that I've seen pictured online wouldn't show the figures' backs, so it's really difficult to say. Speaking of package sets, many of the Adventure People sets had slight changes made over the years. From what I've seen, there aren't any variants in the Scuba Diver set, except that the original set was sold on a card, and later sets were packaged in a window box. Both versions of the set included the same two diver figures, the two orange scuba tanks, 
and the same yellow and orange raft. Even though the contents were the same, the box made it look like a more expensive set. I wonder if that was done so that Fisher Price could charge a little bit more. The Adventure People were some of the earliest three and three quarter inch action figures on the market, predating the original Star Wars figures that made the three and three quarter inch figures so popular. In fact, several of the prototypes for Kenner's original Star Wars figures are modified Adventure People figures. As a kid, I used several Adventure People figures as stand-ins for Star Wars figures that I didn't have. The Adventure People toy line ran from 1975 all the way up through 1985, a very impressive run for a line of toys that wasn't supported by a movie, TV show, or comic book. They were extremely well constructed compared to other three and three quarter inch action figures, and as a result, there are a lot of Adventure People still around, although some are sun faded and missing a lot of paint. The two figures from this set are easy to find for a low price even today. However, the prices on carded and boxed figures in sets seems to have been going up over the last few years, so a nice packaged set will certainly cost a good bit more than the same set loose. Did you play with Fisher Price Adventure People as a kid? Which ones did you have? And which sets or figures are your favorites? Tell me in the comments below. Also, please give this video a like, share it on social media, and if you enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell. And one last thing, if you're a fan of toys, you should know about Toylanta, one of the biggest toy shows in the southeastern United States held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit toylanta.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching.